Well, some really great news. I think by the end of this week, this website should be um, up and running. <laughs> I should start making some videos and upload it. Um, I'm just finishing off the touch, some finishing touches, and then I've got the one major thing that I gotta do is just connect with PayPal and the website. And as soon as that's done, I've been running, and then it's all about talking about something that is more passionate to me, which is ADHD, ADD, um, autism, um, Alzheimer's, um, that family um, of disability is something I know inside and out, mostly because I've had it, and I've had kids that have it um, and I don't buy into a lot of the crap that um, the medical community is saying about it but it is definitely a lot very very misunderstood and but when you can see you have those behaviors which we all have if you look at any kind of disability mental disability every single human on the planet has the same behaviors it's just a matter of the extremes and what rules are, are at play um, but you'd have to watch the whole channel subscribe to it and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about uh, but there is like a massive potential cure for it um, if you use some of the tools that I use these are all things that work for me and um, basically these this group of people are geniuses which they're gonna be labeled by society to be disabled but they know something's wrong they know something's wrong from the day that they're born and they don't fit within society so it's like these people view their world from a totally different perspective from a, the the systems um, how everybody perceives all systems um, these people see it totally different so there is a clash in communication and and both sides of this fence think both sides know the same information each other has and they don't it's like I think that everybody perceives their world the same way as I do which is totally different which everybody on the planet does the same thing but these are sort of a heightened um, normal human behavior uh, so if one was smart these people would be smarter if these are if you are to be sensitive these would be more sensitive um, it, it's a heightened a heightened ability not disability so um, in this and because I have it <laughs> um, part of it of this like autism would be um, it is about sending and receiving information so y in order to communicate effectively you do have to sort of empathize mirror the people that you are talking to um, otherwise it's like borderline genius insanity that um, you can have the answers to friggin everything but if you can't communicate it what's the point <laughs> it's like you're just an idiot um, so it is a matter of introducing how to communicate from both worlds just by simply getting some understanding of what's going on now part of this other big understanding of how systems are how I see systems it's been really hard to communicate how systems aren't working um, if this happened to me uh, 50 years ago people would definitely have put me in a mental institution for sure because you wouldn't have seen it out in your societies but now that everything's crashing it's a lot easier to see the problems that are going in the world the economic system you know we'll all say it's not a fair system but that unfairness is starting to catch up to us it's like a domino effect it wasn't fair for a few now it's not going to be fair for a lot now it's not going to be fair for most of the planet till it gets the last person in the end 
Um, and all systems are the same way, that you think your justice system is, you know, well, it's not perfect, but it's the best we've got. Well, there's things that need to be changed within the justice system to make it a functioning system. But that's a hard one to communicate with it while everybody believes that this is the one we need to stick with as it's sticking it to you. Um, <laughs> so, um, our economic systems are pretty screwed up and a lot of people are, are like losing motivation to do any work because it involves working for somebody that's not going to value your worth. So um, we're not living our fullest potential right now because of the economic system, that it's a corrupt system and I don't want to participate in it. But the thing is, is that your strongest, you, you transform um, when you go with the energy. Bruce Lee said it best, you, you know, you're weak when you're trying to fight something, but you're stronger when you go into the problem, when you go with the energy, when you go into the problem, use the problem and then transform it. So money is definitely not the problem, but I can see people saying, oh, the Venus Project is going to be the answer or um, gold or silver or, you know, you replace money with something else, you're going to have the same problem because money is not the problem. <laughs> it's the exchange of it. It's the value of labor, the value of worth one has. So you see somebody that has a lot of money, they think they're more worthy than anybody else, even though they may, you know, even the ones that give out charity, they got a lot of guilt for how they've earned their money by thinking that they're better than anybody else. But I mean, from my perspective, it's like, what's more, who has more value, the doctor or the farmer who picks the fruit? When the farmer who picks the fruit right now um, can't even get enough money to eat his own food you know, according to what we pay them. It's like slave labor. And they can't even afford to go and see a doctor. So does a doctor really have any value in the world where nobody has any value for themselves? No. So a doctor saying that they're more valuable than a farmer, the doctor's more insane. But so is the farmer. They, they both have to see that they have value. And it's of equal value. So... I think that that is more where we need to work on is show your own personal value and uplift anybody else instead of taking advantage of people, which is what our economic system is based on, is, is it takes advantage of people um, who do not have value for themselves. And I say that you can go within this economic system and earn a good living taking advantage of the advantages of everybody else like it's it's like joining that perfect connection that we all have is like if you're in your fullest potential and I'm in my fullest potential like if you're the farmer and I'm the doctor you know we can get along really really great if we're of the same mind of the same value system um so but right now we are not in that mindset fully understand that and but People that do have money right now are suffering from this host of disabilities. And um, they value information if they pay for it. So the website is designed in a way that they need to pay for it. It's also designed in a way where anybody can get it free because it's going to be using YouTube. I'm going to be starting another channel. The videos are going to be unlisted. Um, so nobody can see these videos unless you have the link to it. So once you register and you pay for your subscription, then you will get a list. You'll be able to view the videos because you'll get a link to them. Um, and it's like a $5 subscription for a month or $25 for a year. Now, if anybody wanted to view the video and take the link, they can put it on their Facebook and share it with as many people free. Um, once you viewed one and have the link for one, you'll never lose it. Um, so it is a way of spreading information free, um, but also putting a value to it. One of the main reasons is because uh, uh, my kids have this uh, 
labeling. They've got heightened abilities. They're very, very intelligent kids, but they are, they basically tell me what it is I'm supposed to be doing. And since they, the universe has told my kids, don't ever listen to your parents or your mother for, and everything worked well when you were exchanging ideas with your money. When, when there was a good communication, everything was great. But as soon as they got into adults and they had to fit within the systems now, it's harder for them to communicate with me. So they're like, make it work for other people and then we'll listen to you. Uh, you know, if it, it, plus they want me working. <laughs> so it's like, here's a way for me to earn a living so I can show my kids that I have some value worth listening to. Um, and at the same time, pass out good information, not by taking advantage of people that are dis disabled, but to make them see how able they are because I think if this large group you know is able to communicate and be a lot more functioning and creative in these new systems we would be able to transform the current systems into systems that would benefit this large group of people um, that currently are being told they're disabled but they're actually very very labeled you just give them a couple of tools and poof um, they'd be able to make a massive global transformation. So that's where I'm headed is towards that thing. Now, I personally do not believe I sh one person to have to do all the work. I think it's wrong in the way that we set up our systems. I know what I'm really good at and programming isn't one of them. Doing web design is not one of them. Marketing is not one of them. It, it is something that, you know, every one of us has a job to do. And it's not me to be the accountant, the lawyer, the banker, that I cannot do everything. I can only do what I'm massively good at doing. And all of these other things, you know, it, it, it's just not right. <laughs> and you can see how our value systems are just really, really messed up because I've even offered a 100% partnership equal partnership for anybody that's willing to do a little bit of work. Now this website's almost done. I have a massive challenge in being able to do it. I'm not the best programmer. I haven't done it in years, um, but yet I can get it done. So um, it wouldn't have taken much for a good programmer just to whip something up. They could have done it in two, three days and it would have been done and have an equal partnership for just doing programming and looking after the code. But that opportunity is gone because I did the work and I feel that I am valued. So I'm keeping it to myself, which I think is wrong. But as we're going to sort of see that the wealthy um, are kind of insane, kind of see that anybody that, you know, is kind of unemployed right now could use a little bit of money, had an opportunity, but nobody showed up. <laughs> So it's like, this is YouTube. I put it out there. I put it out there free and nobody showed up. Means nobody's even looking for that opportunity. But yeah, you're going to bitch that you're losing your job or your houses or whatever. It's because you didn't put any value in yourself. You're not willing to put yourself out there. Do something for free. Build yourself something. Which is part of the lesson that I want to teach is that that's the, the, the thing we've got to change is see your value, find out what your purpose is and exchange your value with other people. And um, money is a good way to see how you're valuing yourself, valuing yourself with society. Are you equal? Are you more than? Is there more work to do? Um, I personally can't see how any of this shift would happen um, without money. <laughs> it's just, we don't know how to make that work. That In order for that to work, you're going to have to learn, we're going to have to have an earthquake that destroys the whole freaking planet. So there's not going to be any lines that says, this is my property, this is your property, or I have more than you. We basically have to lose it all, every one of us on this planet to be able to start a new system without money. Otherwise, you're going to have to go into the money system and transform it with how we value it and change our perspectives. That's all that's needed in this shift, this mind shift. It's just a perspective. Change how you look at things. Keep your mind open. 
And I used, again, this water bottle concept to help me work through these tools that anytime it was challenging, I was heavily focused on this water, the problem, the excuses, and I did the whole process. As soon as a problem showed up, poof, the solution showed up just as fast as the problem. So that's how it got done pretty fast. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'll fill anybody in when it's up and running. Peace out.